have great taste, especially with your radio choice. Thank you for spending a little time with Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Luke Combs. Ain't no love in Oklahoma. Shreveport Bozier's number one for new country. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol, thank you for waking up with us. Okay, if you're in northern Caddo, Bozier, or Webster Parish, get your umbrella. Might need that a little bit later this morning. They're saying that uh, we could see these storms in the immediate area sometime around 8.30 this morning, but they're only going to last about an hour. And then after that, it's going to get hot again. Got another heat advisory today. They say heat index values this afternoon up to like 108. Real temperature about 101, so keep that in mind. And, and, and I got to say thank you. Sarah Stewart, Laurie McGowan, her grandson, so many people I got to see over the weekend at GeekCon 2024. It was huge downtown at the Shreveport Convention Center. And I got to be real honest. You know, it's not often you get to meet one of your, your childhood heroes. But I got to hang out Friday and Saturday with Bob Lilly. And I know you heard me talking about it last week. Mr. Cowboy, number 74 from the Dallas Cowboys back in the day with, you know, Roger Staubach and and all the big names, Walt Garrison and Leroy Jordan. And there's Bob Lilly. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, he's Bob Lilly. He's not going to. He and his wife, two of the kindest, nicest people I could have ever been around. And I just really enjoyed the time with him. And of course, if if you came out, you know, whether you took part in the cosplay contest or you went to any of the panels or you just got pictures or traded sports cards, it was an amazing weekend. And I got to let you know how much we appreciate you being there. And we can't look for we look forward enough to GeekCon 2025. Kiss Country 93.7, it's Gary in Bristol, and coming up here at 7.15, we got a little surprise for you. Kane Brown going to be at Globe Life Field, the old Texas Rangers Stadium, right there by the new Texas Rangers Stadium. It's in Arlington. He's going to be there September 14th. We got tickets to give away all this week. And a real crazy kind of a morning. It looks like maybe things are starting to wrap up. We've had a fire emergency on North Market between Free State and North Hearn. Still showing a couple of units on the scene there, but you want to avoid that. Just look for those fire trucks. Again, North Market between Free State and North Hearn. And the rain is coming. Believe it or not, we're actually going to see some rain. I don't know for how long. Uh, they do say that the gusts, the wind gusts are going to be pretty good, though. 40, 35 to 40 miles per hour. And it looks like it's only going to last about an hour. Also today, this is when it all goes down. DOTD is going to be closing the I-20 eastbound off-ramp and the westbound on and off-ramps at Industrial Drive, all part of the Bossier Reconstruction Project for I-20. Now, the eastbound on-ramp to I-20 from Industrial will stay open, but the others, east, off-ramp, west, on and off-ramps, going to be closed until early to mid-October. So if you normally get off there from I-20 to go like to Barksdale or maybe over to Highway 80, you're going to need to find another way. Stick around. Just 15 more minutes. You won't believe what these two are going to do next. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. That's Tyler Hubbard back then right now. Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. We're Gary and Bristol. Ticket trivia at 7.15. Like I said a minute ago, Kane Brown tickets all this week. He's going to be at Globe Life Field in Arlington coming up September the 14th. We can hook you up. Dude, we've got some great shows. Okay, oh. so if you've been paying attention, now it has escalated to the next level. Lawsuit been filed against Bossier City after the city council voted against accepting a certified petition to put term limits before voters. Friday afternoon, Casey May Rogers, Bossier City citizen, member of the Bossier Term Limits Coalition, filed this petition. Apparently, uh, it's a court order telling the city council to perform their duties, which in this case is to follow what the charter says about election petitions. Bossier City Council been aware for a while that if it did not vote in favor of putting term limits on the ballot, litigation was likely, and here we are. Now we're going to spend taxpayer dollars to fight what should have never been a fight. I mean, they got the the, the petition certified. Everything was copacetic. Yeah. 
So obviously there are a few council people who would be affected if term limits does come to fruition. They wouldn't be able to run again. However, my, my thinking on this is, do they think that they can just ignore this long enough and it'll go away? Well, I mean, it is Louisiana. Yeah, but I mean, that really doesn't hold a whole lot of water. No, I, I mean, you know, we've turned a blind eye to a lot in the past as voters. I think it's great that they are, you know, holding their feet to the fire on this. I'm just really glad I'm not a Bossier City resident right now because that would chat my high. I just, I don't get it. It's like, gang, I mean, these people are playing by the rules and, and you know, Bossier City might say, you know what, we don't care. If you put it on the election, they might say, we don't care. You know, let them be politicians forever. But the whole point is, is to let people's vote be heard. Yeah, And I'm starting to think that there are more and more things that should be before the public for a, a real election. Some things that, you know, maybe the, the state representatives or Congress, mm-hmm. you know, votes on that we never get a chance to look at. I was like, wait a minute, they did what? Yeah. Why didn't we know about that? Well, you know, they think because we put them in office that that's for them to take care of. I said they think. They think. (laughs) I'm just uh, anxious to see how this one plays out. And, you know, if they drag it out long enough in court, will it not be on the December election? Honestly, I think we've already pretty much passed that mark from what I understand. Mm. Or getting close. This, if, if it doesn't get to to the point where it really, really stinks, you know, it's already starting to get odiferous. <laughs> A little bit, wouldn't you say? What was your fishy joke on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing puts the... Oh. Good in your morning by Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. That's Billy Currington. Good directions. Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol. Okay, take it trivia time. Kane Brown on September the 14th going to be a Globe Life Field in Arlington. That's the old Texas Rangers Stadium. Mm-hmm. Right next to the new Texas Rangers Stadium and the new... I, and it's really not new anymore, the football field. I know, Jerry's World. We, we yeah. called it that for so long. <laughs> okay, we do have a couple of tickets for you. And um, uh, if you missed out on Friday's question, just under 10% of Americans say that they have never owned one of these. And it didn't take nearly as long as I thought that it would. But it's a pet. Yeah. Can you imagine going your whole life and not having a pet? No. I mean, who would... Who would greet you at the door when you get home from a long day? When everybody else is mad at you, but your dog's still like, hi, 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 hi. I'm so excited you're here. (laughs) Can I have a treat? Can I have a treat? I want a treat. Please let me have a treat. Who's a good boy? I am. (laughs) Okay. All right. Here is today's question. Good for those Kane Brown tickets. Two-thirds of all Americans admit that they're actually afraid of this kitchen appliance. They're afraid of it. I, I, I kind of am. I, really? I, I'm super cautious with it. Not okay. going to lie. Okay. Two-thirds of all Americans admit that they're actually afraid of this kitchen appliance. What do you think that is? 725-KISS. 725-5477. KISS Country 93.7. Good morning. We're Gary and Bristol. Okay, we had an article about this come out last week on the uh, KISS Country app. Are you familiar with the gumbo? program. I mean, isn't that one of their fancy acronyms for we're trying to get everybody high-speed internet, but not everybody has it yet? Granting unserved municipalities broadband opportunities. Gumbo. Okay. And they are entering Gumbo 2.0. Oh. Apparently, Louisiana officials are saying that 88% of all the projects that they have in providing internet to rural areas have been completed or are under construction. So they're going into Gumbo 2.0. They say if, you know, if you didn't get your high speed internet during Gumbo 1.0, then it should be there to you by Gumbo 2.0. Okay. So you. Yeah. Don't have that no. yet. No. No. And at no point have I had any internet provider say, 
Oh, by the way, we're hooking you guys up. We're going to get that done for you in the next year or so. so There's like $170 million that was awarded to projects in 50 different parishes. They say over 80,000 locations served. In this next phase, they say that uh, they're going to get to 140,000. So mid to North Bellevue Road is not a part of that. <laughs> that I know of. In fact, you know, it's weird. I don't know anyone who over the course of the last year, now they say that Gumbo started in 22, mm -hmm. but I don't know anybody in the last year that's gotten high speed internet that didn't have it before. Well, I and mean, I'm, and I'm not talking about, you know, HughesNet or the No, no, Starlink. I know what you're talking about. I know that they were concentrating on areas that were lower socioeconomically. Before. Why wouldn't my house be in that? <laughs> okay, point made, but you know, it, you know, this COVID. Let's go ahead and call it what it is. Point it out. What? How? This all came out after COVID. We are when it comes to tech because we had certain areas where oh. kids had zero access to being right. able to get online to right. school. Yeah. And one of the lawmakers that's behind this is saying, you know, it's that important to us. You know, even Governor Landry is really wanting to make sure that we get high-speed Internet into every nook and cranny of the state of Louisiana. Okay, prove it. Well, you know, he's Show me here somebody for the state of the state that week. didn't have high-speed Internet a year ago that's got it now thanks to this gumbo program. I, I have mentioned this on social media. I I've, know. It just... You I may not any... be friends with those people right, who exactly. got I, it. I totally understand that. That's why I'm looking. Have you gotten high-speed internet in the past year, year and a half, because of this gumbo program where you didn't have high-speed before? Do you know what Starlink costs? I have no idea. How I mean, it's really it? fast. It's really fast. But it's like $150 a month. Ooh, we. But, I mean, it's... But if you have no high speed internet, and you don't really got to think, TV is evolving. There will come a point where, you know, everything you watch is streamed. Mm -hmm. And those of us who can't do that are going to get, I mean, you know, all of a sudden, you know, we're going to be like the people when I was growing up in Blanchard. Grand Ole Opry came out to everybody else on Saturday, it didn't get to us until Thursday morning. <laughs> And so it's going to be like that around here, you know. <laughs> so have you gotten high-speed internet in the last year and you didn't have it before? It's like, oh, thank you, Gumbo. Holler at us, 725-5477, 725-KISS. Almost as important as your morning coffee. It's Terry and Bristol, only on KISS Country 93.7. It's Jordan Davis, singles you up, Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. Louisiana's coming to our rescue. <laughs> They're going to save us all from dial-up internet. Hey, let me tell you what. On Bellevue Road, where I live, not too far north of me, it was so bad for so long, people couldn't even get the old AOL dial-up. Oh, my It was God. that bad. And, you know, the killing part is... There's areas, especially in North Bossier Parish that I've seen, there's areas where it's like, okay, those people are farther away from town. And they got high-speed internet, but you want to know why? Why? They're in, they in a neighborhood with expensive homes. Or they're in a neighborhood where there's a congressman that lives. Okay, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. Okay, so here's the deal. If you take a look at the uh, Kiss Country uh, app... Last week, we got the information that Louisiana is announcing this GUMBO 2.0. And GUMBO is this acronym where they're saying, okay, we're going to make sure that all the little bit... everybody. Yeah. And there's millions and millions and millions of dollars that have been made available to help these providers to give us this high-speed internet. They're like, okay, if you'll take care of these little bitty podunk areas... You know, we're going to kick in this kind of money so that you can lay the wires and get the infrastructure all established to do that. But I don't call where you live Hoonock. You know, the killing part is, is for the longest we were told that, told that there just wasn't enough population in that area. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a number of people that have heard the same argument. It's like, okay, okay, so now that Louisiana's kicked in the money to do that, population should be irrelevant because they're saying we're going to hit every nook and cranny in the whole state of Louisiana. It doesn't matter if we got to go out into the middle of a bayou. These people are going to get high-speed internet. So two years in, and they're already moving on to 2.0. And they're claiming that 88% have gotten the high-speed internet. And I want to know how much of that 88% (laughs) was north of I-10 Ooh. 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 How much of that 88%, the 80 something thousand households, did they get in North Louisiana? I mean, we got to take care of Cousin Thibodeau and Cousin Fontenot and Cousin <laughs> Boutro. 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 He needs the high speed internet. So, what about us? Remember Louisiana, the other side? Remember, you know, there's a northern part to the state? Anybody you know get high-speed internet because of this gumbo, and now they're coming out with 2.0? Hey, if we didn't get you the first time, we're going to get to you now. Right. I believe it. What about you? Have you gotten high-speed internet in the last year, year and a half? Um, I live in Stanley, Louisiana. Not many people know where it is. It's between Mansfield and Logansport. We have bad signal very user phones at times and we don't have it internet because of how bad the signal is mm-hmm. so there's been no improvement since gumbo 1.0 was announced in 2022 no good morning from kiss country 93.7 kxks fm shreveport Bossier city a town square media station don't forget we'll kick off your work day at 8 30 this morning with your 60 minute music marathon now stuff to know before you go. Another scorching day in store. Heat advisory in place today. Our temp will be close to 100. The heat index close to 110. Now, overnight, we did have some high winds and power was knocked out to folks across Street Fort and Bossier for just a few minutes. Most of the power has been restored. A lawsuit's been filed against Bossier City after the city council voted against putting term limits on the ballot. Casey May Rogers, a member of the Bossier Term Limits Coalition, filed petition in court claiming the council is not following its charter. More than 17,000 AT&T workers across the southeast are on strike as the Communication Workers of America protest what they call unfair labor practices by the tech giant. Purdue Foods is recalling more than 167,000 pounds of frozen chicken nuggets and tenders after some customers reported finding metal wire embedded in the products. Thinking of buying a home with the help of a real estate agent? Well, you can no longer take it for granted that a seller will cover the cost of your agent's commission. The rules on commission changes effective today. I'm Aaron McCarty from 1017 FM and 710 Keel. A couple of Shreveport police officers still on the scene. A minor accident in the Cherokee Park neighborhood, Mayfair and Arncliffe. Might want to avoid that. Nothing else on the radar right now, but it does look like, you know, as the rain approaches, you're going to want to slow down, turn your headlights on, that kind of stuff. Keep in mind, if you do spot any kind of a traffic issue, let us know so we can get the word out. Just call us 725-KISS or message us with your Kiss Country app. One more day in the triple digits before we'll see temperatures drop into the mid-90s for highs here for tomorrow and Wednesday, and that'll take us on through the rest of the week. We're going to look at sunshine here today at 101. Fair skies tonight, 77. Party cloudy, not as hot tomorrow, 95. Mid-90s on Wednesday, lots of sunshine. Richard DeWettig and the Weather Channel. Mornings with Gary and Bristol. Getting the work day started. And once you get to work, it's 40 minutes of non-stop country every hour. Kiss Country 93.7. Baby, a song you make me want to roll my windows down and cry.
93.7, it's Gary and Bristol. Thanks for letting us go to work with you today. Hopefully you got high-speed internet where you work. Can you imagine doing our job no. without high-speed internet? Can I imagine Gary in the fetal position in the corner crying? Okay, so listen. Would you say you live any further out than I do? Actually, yes. You, okay. But you have high-speed internet at your house. I do. And I don't. And I don't understand that. Gumbo 2.0 is, is here to now. Me, Gary. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Me. I know. It doesn't matter. The fact remains that Gumbo 1.0 was going to be our salvation. And those of us that live out, we're going to get this high speed internet and life was going to be wonderful. And now. After a couple of years, still no movement. And there are people in northern Bossier Parish, northern Cat, all over. Right. And are in the same boat. It's like, wait a minute. Y'all had an article saying that all this money was coming and that we were going to get high-speed internet. Hey, we're just saying what Louisiana State representatives have said. Mm -hmm. Even the governor is behind this. You know, he's making sure that we get high-speed internet to every nook and cranny in the state. Okay, name one. Name one little nook or cranny north of I-10 that's gotten high-speed internet in the last year, year and a half. I mean, we're just looking for anybody that saw some movement. What about you? Did uh, did you see the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel with high-speed internet? Actually, no. No. But I, I feel for you because I live way out, you know, and I had to go through the whole process of going and trying to find Starlink and HughesNet. But I found this company, and they are awesome. So if you have, if you're still having trouble getting internet at your home, I promise you, these people will hook you up. When you say hook you up, what are you spending a month? A hundred and nine dollars. Okay. For so, for unlimited, unlimited inter, high speed, and it's fast. You know uh, what I mean? It works for all of our TVs. You have to buy the equipment, you know, like at the beginning, you have to buy the stuff that they put on the pole outside. But after that, it's just $109 a month and you just have no contract. That's the big deal for me. But that's wireless. And I don't understand why in the world we're having to do that when there's government funds that have been available or made available so that we can have a hardwired uh, lightning free 
uh, issues when you know bad weather when mm-hmm. it when it drops out. We're supposed to be getting that, and I, I've seen I no feel, movement in that direction. I feel for you. I, I I feel for you. I understand, and that's why I was going to let you know about this because I I just had to do the same thing. We just moved way out. And you have to have Wi-Fi, man. You have to. Mm-hmm. It's just... <laughs> They've tested positive, but not in a good way. Careful. Mm-hmm. These two have proven to be highly contagious. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Country 93.7, Gary Bristol. We're all in the same boat when it comes to potatoes, mm. too. Today's National Potato Day, and apparently all Americans say that their favorite way to eat them. Okay. Fried. Great fried potatoes? Yep, French fries. How much you want for them? Well, they're 60 for the medium and 75 for large. I reckon I'll have me some of the bacon. I can't. I can't ever have French fries anymore and not see Billy Bob Horn. Frank's fried taters. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, in this big poll, the top ways we enjoy eating potatoes. French fries, number one. Mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, and hash browns. Tater tots and potato salad tied for fifth. They say potato salad's popularity is waning, though. Mm. It's sad. Only 25% of Gen Zers pick it. 60% of us boomers. Oh, yeah. Got to have me some tater salad. They say that 29% of us order fr- uh, French fries every week. I want you to think about that. One out of every mm. three people is eating French fries at some point every week. 62% said it's at least once a month or once a month. McDonald's, still our favorite French fry. I mean, they're good. They've got 46% of the vote. Wendy's, distant second at 16%. 
Then you got Chick fil A and Burger King at 13%. Of course, if you are Billy Bob Thornton, it really doesn't matter. French fried potatoes? Yeah. Yep, French fries. <laughs> yeah. How much you want for them? Well, they're 60 for the medium and 75 for large. I reckon I'll have me some of the bacon. I Enjoy the you some back. French. What's that now? I want the prices back. Yeah. It's Drew Baldridge. She's somebody's daughter. Kiss Country 93.7 Gary and Bristol. Cool story about Drew that we heard yesterday on the Top 40 Countdown with Fitz. Uh-huh. He was talking about how Drew kind of launched things on his own through TikTok and stuff and never could get a record deal. So he finally just decided to come up with his own record label, released that song to radio a year ago, and now finally he's got a top 10 song. Good for him. How about that? That's stick to itiveness. And if you're one of those deer hunters got stick to itiveness and you missed that big one last year because the deer rifle wasn't sighted in properly, <laughs> switch and blame it on. Oh, my scope's off. Uh, we, we've got an opportunity for you. I just did the math a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Dove season opens in 19 days. That means hunting season has officially begun in 19 days. And then in 43 days... Deer season starts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, it's granted, honest. that's primitive weapons, but still. Although uh, the Bozier Sheriff's Department, if you've got a new rifle or maybe you missed that big one last year because you didn't sight it in properly, uh, the Bozier Sheriff is going to be opening the rifle range September the 14th, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. He'll do that again on the 21st and the 28th, same hours. And they've got 12 different shooting lanes available for you. 100 yards, 200, 300, 400. They'll even take care of the targets. Now, you got to bring your own weapon. you got to bring mm-hmm. your own ammo. And they also want you to bring your ears or your hearing and eye protection as well. All the info about that in your Kiss Country app. And uh, this is going to be a, this is gonna be a three weekends that if you don't take advantage and you miss. It's on you. Well, you've just lost that excuse. It's it's <laughs> gone then. It's Gary and Bristol all morning long. I know you're scared of that cockatoo, dude. Kiss Country 93.7. That's new country from Dan and Shay, Bigger Houses. We're Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning, Gary and Bristol. Okay, you know, for the longest, we kept hearing about the double invasion in 2024 of the cicadas. You know, there was oh, yeah. like two different kinds, and there Europe was going to be cicada. trillions, and it's just... And I got to admit, you know, for the longest, I didn't think we were going to see any. Here lately, though, I have been noticing, especially, you know, out in the woods and stuff like that, a lot of the locust shells, and I call them locusts. I know they're cicadas. Right. But I have been seeing some of those. And I'm not going to say it's any more than normal, but at least, you know, they're, they're starting to show up. And it got us to thinking, you know, if we were like locusts, you go into the ground because they'll stay in the ground, they say, for up to 17 years. Yeah. So if you, like, went into the ground or maybe in a coma and all of a sudden, 17 years later, bam, you open your eyes. What are you, like, amazed that still hasn't been fixed? (laughs) What are you amazed? And you're like, oh, my God, that's still a problem? (laughs) They still haven't cured the common cold? They still haven't, you know, fixed the I-20. Well, they're working on it. <laughs> What's I going mean, on that there? that list is that they still haven't brought back ponchos after we've all been dreaming about it. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with these people? 17 years. You're asleep. You open your eyes. It's like, wait a minute. I've been gone for 17 years and you still couldn't knock this out. What is wrong <laughs> with you people? We'll get your thoughts on that bright and early tomorrow morning. Make sure you wake up with us. Kiss Country 93.7. Making that ride to work fun. Come on now, Junior, take a while. It's Gary Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7.